Welcome to our lecture online. It is really interesting that we can actually write trigonometric functions like the cosine and the sine in terms of complex exponentials. Well, here we're trying to show that the cosine of x can be written like this and that the sine of x can be written like this. So let's see how that came about. First of all, what we can do is we can expand these two right there. We can say that e to the ix plus e to the negative ix is equal to, well, expand this one, this becomes the cosine of x plus i times the sine of x. And then what we can do is add to that the expansion of this, which is the cosine of x minus i times the sine of x. So now when we add those two together, let's see what we get. Well, the cosine of x plus the cosine of x, that's equal to twice the cosine of x. But notice that i sine of x minus i sine of x cancels out. So now we have e to the ix plus e to the negative ix is equal to twice the cosine of x, which means when we divide both sides of the equation, we can write that the cosine of x is equal to e to the ix plus e to the minus ix divided by 2. Just what they asked us to do. And we can do the same thing for the sine of x. So what we can do is take the numerator here and expand it and see what we get. And so we can write that e to the ix minus e to the minus ix is equal to, well this we expand to the cosine of x plus i times the sine of x. And now we subtract from that when we expand this. And this becomes the cosine of x minus i times the sine of x. Now we realize when we combine those two that the cosine minus the cosine, the cosine of x cancels out, but the i sine of x does not. Because this negative makes that negative into a positive, and so this becomes equal to 2 times i times the sine of x. And then we write this down, e to the ix minus e to the minus ix. If we now divide both sides by 2i, then we get the sine of x is equal to this divided by 2i, or sine of x equals e to the ix minus e to the minus ix all divided by 2i. And there we have it. That's how we can write the sine of x and the cosine of x in terms of complex exponentials. And that's how it's done.